Hello and welcome to the 50 second tutorial in the Cocos 2DX version 3 C++ tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at sprite animations. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 5, if you haven't don't worry there'll be a link in the description to the source code or you can implement it directly into your own project plus there'll be another link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial, so sprite animations. Basically up to now when we've used actions to let's say move a sprite they've been very boring if they, they moved at a constant speed throughout or they've done whatever they've been doing uh, at a constant speed so what we're going to do we're going to use some animations so they look a bit more dynamic and how they actually look in real games so let's just go ahead and open up our project now you just want to go to your hello world scene.cpp just, I'm just going to put this down a little bit and just below adding your sprite we're just going to create an action called auto action equals move by so we're just going to use the move by action create so we're going to say 3 seconds we're going to make it move 100 pixels to the right and 0 pixels up and we're going to run this action, my sprite, run action, but instead of just putting action here, what we're actually going to do is we're going to put our animation here. And for that, we're going to do ease, elastic, in, out, that's the one, colon, colon, create. Now you specify the action, so the action obviously is called this called action and how long we want this to take and put 0 0.5 for the actual easy elastic in out semicolon and now when we run it you'll see what this uh yeah one second this should be a low case a now we're ready to run this isn't the only animation that's loads of them Go through the Cocos CDX API and check them out because uh, there's some really, really cool and really useful useful ones as well instead of having to program these in yourself. There you can see it actually eased in and out as the name suggests. So let's just do another one. I'm going to do ease. We're going to do ease bounce in column column create and we'll just specify the action so action run this there you go it did a bounce in animation that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial which is also actually the final tutorial we'll be looking at how to set up the accelerometers sorry about that it's a little notification we'll look at how to set up the accelerometer if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk the email will be in the description you can also comment on this video or just directly message us via youtube also all the required links for the source code will also be in the description and as usual thanks for watching and have a nice day